guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paige. This is Mello. Mello. He, he's sleepy. He's normally sleepy and I just love filming these videos for you guys because you kind of can just see how calm and stuff they are. But hope you all are having a great wonderful day. Um, if you are new, welcome. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the top 10 uh, sorry, the top 20 best Great Pyrenees names. I'm going to be doing 10 female names, 10 male names. Now, these are just my opinion on the best names. I'm not saying if your dog is named, like if you have a Great Pyrenees and he's named something else that the name isn't good because there are some really cute names. I just went through and found my top 10 for both male and female names. And I thought I would share them with you just in case you just got a puppy and you're trying to think of a name or you're looking into great getting a great Pyrenees or you just really love the breed so without further ado let's get started so we're gonna start with male names so and these are not in a specific order on like which ones I like the best these are kind of just like top 10 like they're not in a specific like like just because I say the first one is the first name doesn't mean it's my favorite but it is out of the top 10 of my favorites so like I said we're gonna start off with males so number one is Samson. Samson is just a really good name for Great Pyrenees. You know, it's a common name for Great Pyrenees. It's not very like um different or unique, but it is just a really cute name. Um doesn't really have any like meaning behind it, but I just thought it was a cute name. Number two is Marshmallow. That's Mellow's name. His full name is Marshmallow, but his middle name is or his short name that we call him is Mellow or Mel. Those are his nicknames, but Marshmallow, you can just clearly see why you can name it. And this could go for a boy or a girl, Marshmallow. Any of these names could really go either way if you decided you wanted to name them that. But he's white, big. Grip your knees, they're really big. They just look like giant fluffy marshmallows. So why not name them Marshmallow? Number three is Max or Baymax. I really like this name. Our original plan was when we got Mellow that we were going to name him Max, Maximus, and call him Max for short. But Mellow just kind of stuck, um, you know, we decided, just, Mellow just kind of stuck with us. We were like, you know what, he doesn't seem like a Max because some Great Pyrenees do seem like a Max. His personality is just so sweet and stuff. Max didn't really seem to fit him. But I do think Max or Bay Max is a really good name for a Great Pyrenees. Number four is Thor. So Thor, again, is a really, it's an Avengers character name, um, Thor is a great name for Great Pyrenees. They're just big, strong dogs, and Thor is just a really cute name um, for any Great Pyrenees or just any dog in general. I just really like the name Thor, so I thought I would include it in here. His sigh. Number five is Apollo. So Apollo is another name for Great Pyrenees. Now, none of these names really have any, like, meaning behind them. They probably do just... Um, as far as, like, me knowing the meanings, I don't know any of the meanings behind these, um, but, like, some of the names might mean something, but, um, I just went for, like, the sound of them, my favorite. But Apollo is another great name. I would definitely recommend naming your Great Pyrenees Apollo. It's just a super cute name. It's also, Apollo gives you more of, like, a strength kind of, like, vibe to it. Like, it kind of just shows that this dog is big, strong, but then they're also, like, super sweet dogs. Number six is Zeus. So Zeus and Apollo are actually um, gods, like Greek gods. They're mythical gods. Um, so, you know, why not? They're really cute names. So, um, you know, if you had two boys, you could name one Zeus and one Apollo. They're just really cute names. And Zeus, again, it's like another big, strong, tough name if you're thinking about naming your dog something. But it's not too, like, tough to like over exaggerate to make them sound mean but it does make them like sound like stronger stuff like that so I definitely recommend the name Zeus. Number seven is Bear. So clearly you can see why you would name a Great Pyrenees Bear. They're just such big um cuddly bears you know. They look like a bear um people have actually called like have commented like jokingly like <laughs> is that a polar bear because they do they look like big fluffy polar bears so Bear would be a perfect name for a Great Pyrenees um, also for like a St. Bernard or something or a Newfoundland, that would also be a perfect name, Bear. Number eight is Coda or Dakota. So I really like this name. I'm not exactly sure why. I just think it has like a nice ring to it, Coda. Um, and, you know, most people choose to do Dakota for longer. Um, but then 
shorten it to Coda. It just depends on your preference. And this could be a boy or a girl name. Could go either way. I've seen people with boys that are named Coda, but I've also seen people with girl dogs that are named Coda. Number nine is Summit. So the reason I thought Summit should be in the top 10 is because it just has a really nice ring to it. You know, when I think of Summit, I think of really tall mountains with like the snow on the top and Great Pyrenees, they're white. So I thought Summit would be like a perfect name to name them. And then number 10 is going to be Journey. So I would definitely name a Great Pyrenees Journey just because, you know, super cute and also um most of the time when i think of the name journey great pyrenees they come from the pyrenees mountains um where they used to guard livestock and they would travel the pyrenees mountains with the livestock guarding them so that's why i think of journey because you know they go on journeys definitely recommend and again journey could be boy or girl name so now we're going to move on to girl names I, we've never owned a girl great pyrenees but i did go through and find my top 10 favorite girl great pyrenees names so number one is going to be angel these dogs are like little angels they're so cute you know they can have their stubbornness but they are great wonderful dogs and they will protect your children and i also thought angel because like angel is like a guardian almost so that's a good girl name number two is daisy daisy is a pretty common name in most dogs um and i thought it just had a spot in top 10 you know it's a cute name adorable love it number three is molly again molly is another unique or another like basic name that you would most people commonly name their dogs at but i could see a molly for a great pyrenees as well number four is aspen so aspen can be a boy or a girl name um i just liked aspen because it was super unique you know it's got a nice unique like ring tone like ring to it and stuff um, Aspen is like not a very common name that you hear but it's also like easy to pronounce not overly complicated so I could see that as a great Pyrenees name number five is Nova so I do like the name Nova because it does give like that powerful like female kind of ring to it and these dogs are just awesome so that's Nova Number six is Alaska. So it's clearly why you would name, like it's pretty clear on why Alaska fits a Great Pyrenees. Um, they are just really cute white dogs. Um, you could also name an Alaskan Husky Alaska. You can name like any dog Alaska. Um, I just think like the white coat color with Alaska, it's just a really cute name. Number seven is Kaya. So I really like the name Kaya because it is unique enough to where there's not a lot of dogs name that but it's still easy to pronounce <laughs> he's a cp puppy easy to pronounce love the name kaya number nine is misty so i think of misty because mist is like really pretty like so are great pyrenees misty would be a perfect name with their white coat stuff like that love the name misty and finally number 10 is luna so i really love the name luna because luna is like a moon lunar means moon um so luna is shorter for lunar and so you know they're white they look like moons <laughs> they're so pretty the moon is really pretty so i would definitely recommend naming your great pyrenees luna so those are all the names that i have for you guys today if you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and also comment down below what your dog's name is or if you have any other names that you like for Great Pyrenees. Hope this helped you out if you're thinking about naming or if you're thinking or trying to find names for your Great Pyrenees. But we will catch you guys next time. Bye. He's super sleepy.